We're finding that a lot of plans, not all of them, but just some, and that's what the Avalier uh, study focused on, are putting every single HIV drug on the highest tier, and it's coming with a high coinsurance, and that means 50%, maybe 40% of the drug cost is being, you know, the patient has to do it, pay for that, and people are shocked when they go to the pharmacist. They, they can't afford that. They never thought that they would have to pay that much money. Um, it is called the Affordable Care Act. <laughs> um, so um, people are not picking up their medications, and uh, they're going off their medications, and um, it, it's just really unfortunate. Um, now, some plans don't do this. Some plans charge, you know, $10, $20, $50 a copay per drug. That seems reasonable. But I think a lot of studies show that um, if you get over $150, $200 per drug, and, you know, patients are not just on one drug, they're on multiple drugs, it's, you know, they're not going to pick up their medications and they're not going to be adherent to their medications. It'll lead to, you know, people being sick and people dying, people ending up in the hospitals, uh, people building up drug resistance. And when that happens, you're, um, you, you can't take other medications. And it, it's just the, the opportunities for living a healthy life aren't there. And so it, it's really a barrier for um, patients in accessing uh, medications and staying healthy.